Someone told me this story while I was making my way south. I was uncomfortable listening, but I still did. Martin was a single dad. Recently divorced, he got custody of his kid. His now ex-wife was a wreck and couldn't be trusted even to wipe her own ass. She got the house and he got her prescription drug collection, and he was fine with it. He was fine with it when he had to take care of all the chores. He was fine with it when he had to move into a small apartment near the industrial district. He was fine with it when he had to deal with his son all by himself. His son's name was Joshua. Five years old, a twister in human form, but sweet and strong. Martin thought the child would take up after him. After they started their new life in that small apartment, Joshua couldn't sleep well. The factory's schedule started too early in the morning, and there was simply too much noise. Martin coped with it, with the iron will of being a heroic dad, and that was it. The kid, however, didn't have any way to cope. But at some point, he knew how much effort his old man was putting into all of it. Or so Martin believes. The fact is, Joshua never complained. Never. Because he couldn't even remember sitting up in the middle of the night, screaming with an accelerated heartbeat, sweating, scared... Joshua was living his days normally. It was Martin with the problem that needed to be solved as usual. Every night, between 1 a.m. and 4 a.m., the screams broke the night. Martin felt his sanity slipping away. Maybe it was, actually, because you'd have to be insane to medicate your children yourself instead of taking him to the doctor. These little illegal pills to treat sleeping disorders, identified with the number 7645, found Martin seems an old acquaintance hooked him up with a dealer, a nurse in a hospital. Martin followed the instructions, cut the pill in four pieces, give one piece to Joshua every other night. That was all. And it worked as intended, for the first ten days at least. At day eleven, not only the screams, but all the other symptoms came back. But Joshua's heartbeat was extremely fast. The man thought the kid was going to die. In a panic, Martin rushed towards all of those meds his wife had, those that he took from her to be sure she wouldn't do anything stupid. Poor fool. He knew all the side effects, but he wasn't a doctor. He was sure that thing he gave to Joshua would decrease the heartbeat, which it did. The kid calmed down a few minutes later, put his head on the pillow, and went to sleep again, if he ever was awake. Martin went back to sleep. Everything was normal and calm, according to him. Of course, this wasn't the case. Nothing was normal, nothing was fine, and nothing would ever be fine again. Joshua was buried in a small, private ceremony two days after that. Martin is being charged with involuntary manslaughter, and the nurse that told me about the story wanted two boxes of pills. I wonder why.